these things, whew, they represent a lot of problems, but typically a clogged nozzle is actually not as bad as it sounds. There is a really super duper clogged nozzle. That one got so clogged that it actually came out the top. Here's the nozzle itself, here's the block, and it actually oozed plastic from the top. So getting to a clog nozzle, and this is where I really like the gantry or the delta printer because I can get my hands in there and work on things. So in this case, this was a PLA clog. The reason it clogged is because this block and these threads, the throat here, they were not tight. This throat has to go in there and mesh up with the top half of this nozzle and they weren't tight. There was a gap in there so that allowed filament to ooze out. Uh, when those get tightened together then they'll work. Now an important thing is those have to be under heat. This thing has to be heated up pretty good and you really want to grind that throat and that the top part of this nozzle together. They should meet very very tight. The quickest way the simplest solution and that's what we're always looking for the simplest solution is just to take this thing up hotter than what it calls for so this is PLA so I usually take them up to ABS temperatures that allows me to get a little wire brush in here and you can get wire brushes that look like toothbrush almost and you can get rid of some of this stuff well, all of this stuff and then what you can do is with ABS you should be able to pull the remaining out of that and hopefully and it does happen quite a bit it's actually I get pretty lucky with this a lot of it will just ooze out of the nozzle if it doesn't get you a paper clip make sure you have some kind of insulator on the top of the paper clip where you're going to push with your fingers and kind of grind it down in here almost as if it's a drill bit and that kind of works some of that plastic loose now i have had on occasion and occasionally when i when i get a bad nozzle what i typically do when I get a clog like this, I typically take the nozzle off, put a new nozzle in. Uh, it's it's actually not that big of a process to do in most printers. Uh, and then eventually after I get enough clog nozzles, I take a torch and I'll take some pliers and you know hold all the components and I'll just torch them and kind of burn everything out of there. And those nozzles are as good as new.